On this episode of Delivering Marketing Joy, we talk with Tim Andrews from ASI, and he talks about some of the changes going on in our industry and why having two organizations that support our industry is a good thing. Hello and welcome to another edition of Delivering Marketing Joy. I am your host, Kirby Hossaman, and I am very, very excited to have with me a very special guest, Tim Andrews, who's the president and CEO of ASI. And uh, Tim, thanks so much for joining me. Thanks for taking the time. Thanks so much, Kirby, for inviting me. Absolutely. Absolutely. I want to jump right into some questions I have for you. Um, one of the things I've noticed about our industry, and you know, obviously uh, we are both a part of the promotional products industry, and like most businesses, there's a, a, st a state of change right now. Um, right. What are some of the biggest changes you're seeing in the last year, and what do you predict for some of the changes down the pike? Yeah, I think uh, one thing we're seeing in our own marketplace of uh, promotional products is a huge shift to digital. Um, so anything digital, whether it's a promotional product that's digital uh, or whether it's how people market themselves, whether it's to an end buyer that they're trying to attract, you know, as a distributor or a supplier trying to attract a distributor or a decorator trying to attract a distributor or a supplier, it's really a, a huge shift in digital. Uh, that doesn't mean that physical doesn't matter anymore. We're also seeing really a reinvigoration of uh, our own print brands, for instance, you know, our Counselor Magazine, Advantages Magazine, and Wearables Magazines, um, and also all of our catalogs. People still like print. Um, we did a survey recently of uh, distributors asking them what they thought about supplier catalogs, and, and while perhaps they don't need 500 of them anymore, they still think they're really valuable to people. And I think it really is great for our industry because obviously as people start digitally advertising their products and services, and those are our clients that we're calling on as a distributor, for instance, that doesn't mean that they also don't want a physical product. So I think a physical product with a brand on it is still really important, just like a print product you know, is in our industry to reach uh, the right audiences. So that's one area. Mm -hmm. um, I also think, you know, as we look ahead, you know, in the next year and a half, I think this is a great opportunity for distributors and suppliers to focus on the election marketplace. You know, we think that'll be about nine hundred million dollars in promotional product sales uh, over that period of time, and it seems as if there's a lot of uh, a lot of fighting going on among a lot of candidates, both locally and nationally. And so I think that's really, of course, good for our marketplace, whether it's signs or other kinds of products that that you know candidates uh, or, or organizations might want to use. Um, and of course, thirdly, I would just say e-commerce. Uh, there's a lot of focus in our industry, both on the supplier and on the distributor side, about e-commerce. And it's not only between the distributor and supplier, which of course we at ASI try to help people be more efficient finding products and ordering products, but it's really a big focus on how do distributors serve and find clients um, in the digital world and then how do they convert them to an e-commerce customer. So we're hearing a lot of customers talking to us about how do I have a more e-commerce ready website? How do I connect with suppliers? How do I connect with prospects? So we're really focused a lot on that uh, at ASI. No, that's that's great, Tim. I love what you said about everybody moving to digital, but analog and, and print and still having a lot of value. I, it reminded me of a quote from Mark Twain where he says, whenever I find myself in, in the majority, it's time to stop and reflect. Um, and I think that that, <laughs> I think that, that it, it kind of speaks to, you know, what the power of promo within a digital world. So that's, that's I'm glad you're seeing that. You know, We're $20 billion, you know, $20 billion industry of a physical product that's given with a brand because it really matters and there's a great return on our investment. So that's a great statement about the power of physical products, I think. Absolutely. Now, you know, obviously ASI is constantly evolving too. It's one of the things I admire about the, uh, the association. What are some of the projects that, or initiatives that you're most excited about right now? Yeah, uh, three things really going on. Uh, first of all, a complete redesign of ESP Web. ESP is used by about uh, distributors in our industry, to about 70% of the searches we think in the industry are conducted in ESP looking for products and managing that relationship with a prospect or with a client. So we have an all new version of ESP that is in test right now. We, we're doing an A-B test to see which one people prefer and we'll take bits and pieces and put it together and have that out by the end of the year. Uh, the second piece of this, which is really quite exciting for me, is a CRM package. So a way for distributors to manage their customer relationships and also relationships with prospects. You know, we've long offered a CRM package as of other people in the industry, but we sort of took a fresh fields approach and we said, you know, most of those are way too complicated for what people in our industry really need to do. Uh, most folks have a fairly small number of customers they work with at any one time and then a fairly small number of prospects. So we sort of said, how do we optimize for 
someone who's really trying to manage 200 or 300 relationships, mm -hmm. uh, not 3 million relationships. Mm -hmm. So we've developed a CRM that really looks at that from the ground up and are embedding that in ESP. So we expect to have that out in the marketplace and showing that um, to customers and transitioning them to that in the first quarter of next year in Orlando. The ASI Orlando will be the place we really probably show it first. And then uh, as part of that, really importantly, uh, an orders management package. Again, we've had order management for a very long time. Uh, thousands of people use our order management package in ESP today, um, even though we frankly have not widely promoted it. Um, but we have a new orders managed package that we're embedding into ESP and CRM. So if you use ESP to create a presentation you send to a client and you go into that client's name in the CRM, the presentation will be sitting there waiting even a month or two months later with uh, perhaps a reminder popping up to remind you to check on that client maybe a week after the package went out. And then if the customer calls and says, hey, I really want to order uh, those five products you proposed in that presentation, with one click, you'll be able to actually create a sales order and, and individual purchase orders to be able to push those out to the supplier. So one place to really manage all those relationships. And so that's really uh, probably the most exciting thing we've got going on right now. And, and really, we think is going to help transform the industry as it gets more efficient and really starts looking at how do we leverage e-commerce uh, through our own workflow uh, as distributors, suppliers, and decorators and with ASI helping. Yeah, I can see why that that's a that's a big project. Uh, I can see why you'd be excited for sure. Yeah. So one of the things I've been I've, I've always wanted to ask you, Tim, is, you know, in our industry, we have both a for profit organization and ASI and a not for profit organization working to help professionals in our industry. Why do you think it's good to have two different agencies serving the same constituency? Oh, I think it's great because I think we really have uh, some similar roles, obviously, we have some similar touches, you know, but also I think that when we've got a $20 billion industry and I think we need a strong trade association that advocates publicly for our uh, industry, both in Washington and in local places, helps people really be involved locally in a local effort um, and really helps, you know, helps the industry get its word out, you know, and, and sort of the message out about what the industry is about. We certainly do some of that here at ASI. But certainly from my perspective, that really is the role of a trade association. I think, of course, PPA has the largest trade show in the industry. We have a different tack. We serve local markets with trade shows and other kinds of events and activities. So, you know, I think there's never one size fits all for people. Uh, you know, there's 3,300 suppliers in the industry because, you know, people want choice. And, and that kind of dynamic competition uh, creates a better outcome, I think, for distributors and for the end buyers. And so, you know, I think that's, that's the reason that we have 20,000 distributor firms while we have 3,300 uh, supplier firms and why there's a multitude of nonprofit and also for-profit organizations in the industry. And I think people are better served by that. We, by the way, work together really well. Uh, you know, I attend PPA events and activities. We send someone down to D.C. with a group every year uh, with PPAI and some, some volunteers to lobby for the industry. Um, Paul Valentone, the CEO of uh, a PPA, and I spend time together frequently and talk about, you know, things of mutual interest and ways to promote the industry uh, that we both have unique ways to, to help with. So um, I really think it it's makes the industry stronger to have multiple choices and allow us to sort of work together. No, that's great. That's and, and I have seen a lot of you and Paul in the same place. And from my perspective, that's that's as, a, as one of your constituents, I guess, uh, I, that's a real positive. I think that's great. So thank you for doing that and serving the industry. And thank you for taking the time today. I, as you know, I give everybody a chance to ask me one question. So I will give you a shot. So here's my question. You're CEO of ASI for a day. What do you do? Wow, that's a big question. Um, um you know, I think that ASI does a really good job. I think that one of the things that I'd like to see, and I think that you guys are working toward it, I think PPAI is working toward it, is just working diligently on creating a more and more professional um, sales force, as it were, for our entire industry. I think sometimes uh, the promotional products um, industry, as it were, tends to be at the back end of the marketing chain so people in a really big room make those decisions and then whatever's left of the budget we use for promotional products i want to get more and more educated well-rounded marketers so that they're sitting at the table making those decisions so that we can be a better part of the clients end marketing result if that makes any sense like i say i think you guys are working in that direction so it's not a critique um but that's where i that's where i like to see our focus going Makes sense. Great. That's a great suggestion. You know, we do a lot on education and a lot with our re, uh, re return on investment surveys that we do, but a uh, good reminder that that's really important to people. So thanks very much for that answer. And thank you so much, Tim. I know you're a busy guy and I appreciate you taking the time. That's going to wrap up another edition of Delivering Marketing Joy. We will see you next time. 
Hey, thanks for watching, but wait, can you do me a favor? Please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done it already, the way to do it's right over here. And hey, if you wanna watch the last episode, check that out over here. Again, before you leave, subscribe.